Dean here with Escape to Gaming. Today I'm ultra excited to talk about the new Mad Max game. I actually went last night and got it. I didn't think it was going to be out till Tuesday morning. I called my manager to see if there was a strategy guide. He said, well, no, but we're going to have an early pickup at 9 o'clock. If you get here early at 6 o'clock, pull a number, you can be first in line to get the game. There was going to be some limited, um, which I didn't know, bonus things if you get pre-ordered the game. So I went down there at 6 o'clock, paid for the game, and actually got a couple cool pre-orders. The game I got at 9, but they gave me right off the bat this cool die cast, kind of a Hot Wheels car of the uh, Mad Max Interceptor, which is a 73 Falcon. It's heavily modified with all those uh, heavy-duty bumpers and pipes and what have you. This is a nice little incentive. I didn't even know that, the, that it came with that. And they also had this epic poster of the Mad Max poster, which looks really cool. I want to get this framed and put it in my garage. I love this. This is really cool. Not only that, but they have this giant five-foot cardboard display behind the counter that shows all these cars colliding and Max shooting a shotgun out the window of a guy jumping onto the car. And I asked the manager, I said, what are you guys going to do with this stuff? I've never asked before, but I said, what do you do with these displays, typically? He goes, well, we usually one of the you know, employees here takes it or we just throw it out. I go, could you hold that Mad Max display for me? He said, sure. He said, come back in two days. I'll have it for you. I offered to give him 20 bucks. He goes, I don't want your money. Yeah, I'm happy to save it for you. So I'm excited to go back Wednesday morning at 10 and get this giant five-foot-wide kind of a cardboard poster display, but it shows a whole uh, bunch of cars on either side of Max's magnum opus trying to take it from him, and he's not going to let him with a shotgun. I'm anxious to get that, maybe put it in my garage. So... Anyway, it was a delightful thing. While I was there, I got there a little early. I found this Mayhem game for four bucks, which apparently it plays in 3D. So I'm anxious to try my new 3D television, which I haven't tried yet. So I can play this and then even play MotorStorm Apocalypse in 3D, which would be pretty cool. So I've got a couple friends that played this. It looks pretty good. But anyway, this Mad Max game does not disappoint. I was exhausted last night, but I came home about 9.30 or so, and I install like a 45-minute install, because it's a 37, uh, I guess, gigabyte uh, install on this, which is, is pretty hefty, but the open world is enormous, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This morning, I got up early and recorded some gameplay with my coffee and uh, put in my codes for the DLC and all that, and man, it's just an incredible experience. This literally exceeded my expectations. I had no idea how good it was going to be. I watched probably a couple hours of uh, developer gameplay from the Warner Brothers Avalanche guys that actually made the game. And they showed 70 minutes of gameplay here and 15 minutes there and a half hour there. So I've watched several of these live streams and then YouTube videos on the gameplay where they had already gone like 30 hours deep in the game. And you could see all of the RPG elements for Max, his character, his hair, his beard, his authentic Road Warrior style outfit that he wears, uh, the magnum opus, which is his new car that he's building. His car gets ripped off in the begin very beginning of the game. It's really not spoilers, because they've showed, the showed that in the commercials. Uh, but the, the beginning couple hours is kind of an elongated tutorial on how Max is just how he survives. Uh, he's literally out in the middle of uh, nowhere, and he finds a dog, and he finds his new friend Chum Bucket, which is a strange... Uh, mystical kind of character that worships him, thinks he's some kind of a messiah. And there's all these prophecies about him. So he's like dedicated to Max. You pick him up. He helps you to build this new magnum opus or this new car. You, you know, at first he's got part of the car built, but then you have to go to this place and find a body. you got to find gasoline and loot and scavenge. It's an exceptional game. Just the first few hours alone, my first in gameplay impressions of this are incredible. I absolutely love this game. Uh, it, it really exceeded my expectations. The graphics look absolutely gorgeous. It's had some somewhat kind of mixed reviews. It's had some 8s and 8.5s from a few game sources. Um, I think Games Radar gave it like a 4 out of 5. Um, and it's, you know, got like an 8 or 8.5 from IGN, actually, did an amazingly good review of it. But Polygon and GameSpot uh, had kind of a jaded look at the game. Uh, of course, they weren't impressed. Not everyone is into car combat, which is why the last Twisted Metal reboot didn't do so well, perhaps. And not everyone is into Mad Max. It's funny, they'll have no problem grinding and doing the repetitive games for Shadow of Mordor, 
or The Witcher 3 or other games that they're really into because they like, you know, the premise or whatever, but because it's about gasoline and cars, God forbid, uh, you can hardly see. I mean, just do the math and you know its reviews are not going to be great on this because not everyone is going to appreciate a wonderful car combat game that faithfully uh, shows kind of the vibe and the, the wasteland of the Mad Max or, quote, R Road Warrior universe, which I love. So, in my opinion, they capture the essence of Mad Max, the wasteland, his car, the strange characters you encounter in the wasteland. Uh, it has a wonderful looting system, incredible R RPG elements of upgrading Max as well as the car, which I haven't gotten too far into yet because I'm just starting off in the beginning. Uh, but I wanted to stop and give you my impression so far in the game. Just a couple hours in, it's wonderful. I cannot wait to uncover more of this game and to really see what the game is all about. Uh, it's one of those things where you've got to be, in the beginning, you're way underpowered. I mean, you're up against all kinds of roving gangs. I've already had some interesting collisions and radically damaged my car. I've died a couple times. Uh, in, in some of the melee battles as well early on in the game, but you learn quickly it's very much like the sleeping dogs with the block attacks and the main attacks and heavy attacks and all that. So I love the melee combat. It's very much like sleeping dogs, which is one of my favorite open world melee type game of the games. Uh, and then the car combat and the car handling is exceptional. They, there's really a lot of love that Avalanche put into the fan service of the films and uh, especially, you know, with the cars and the details and the environments, they have this kind of a mystical wasteland, which it almost looks like it's an underwater seabed. You see lots of strange things that you wouldn't think were there in the way of planes and giant ships and submarines and things out in the wasteland and bridges and what have you. And it's just kind of a mystery. And then slowly you'll find little trinkets and things that talk about what has happened and will slowly put the story together. So it's not so much a story-driven game as it is an uh, authentic Mad Max experience where you roam the wasteland and you slowly put together what's going on. So it's a mystery as to where Max is going. He's going to some kind of a nebulous place that he wants to go to. Uh, what's neat is that there's really no borders on this giant open world. If you've ever played Just Cause 2, you know how giant that world is, which I've been completely in encountered and explored every inch of it. And it took me forever to do it, 100 hours or more. You'll have that easily in this. There's people that have put 30 to 40 hours in it and have only uncovered like 35% of the gameplay. There's so much to it. If you want something that's just, you can invest, I mean, tons of hours into and just a wonderful open world that you can explore and investigate and there's endless people to encounter and things to, to do. Uh, I can't think of a better game to grind through than this one. So. So far, I'm loving this. Later, I'll definitely have to give this a review. But so far, my impressions are very, very good. Uh, I'd give it a very high score. I'm not into numbers and giving games a subjective uh, thing as games. Number scores, but uh, th this would get a very high number for me. And I can already easily see how this more than likely is going to be my game of the year for 2015. It's that good. So if you're sitting on the fence on this one, uh, give it a, really consider giving it a chance. It's a wonderful game. If you have any affinity for the Mad Max films uh, in particular, you'll absolutely love this. It's a wonderful job, wonderful attention to detail, and they've created a world that you can really immerse yourself in and play as Mad Max himself. I can't recommend it enough. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you like this little impressions. Um, video that I did. I'm very excited about this game, and I can see I'm going to spend months playing this. Uh, so anyway, enjoy your games, and thanks for watching.